Hey guys, this is Steven. Uh, I'm going to show you something uh, that has made my life a lot easier with cleaning fish. And what got me uh, wanting to make this video is we went to Kentucky Lake this past week and I've seen a couple gentlemen that have been out there catfishing. They had a few catfish in the way that they were cleaning their fish. And I'm not going to say that it's necessarily wrong, but I know it's not nearly as easy as what I'm about to show you. Uh, these guys were taking their catfish. Nail, they brought their own nails and their own hammers and they were nailing the catfish's heads to the trees and skinning the catfish and then cutting them up, throwing them in the cooler or whatever. And they were taking them home. They had lots of bones in them and things like that. And I'm going to show you guys how to go from this to this boneless filet really, really easily. So anyway, I skinned that one out. We went, we went, uh, jugging last night me and my daughter and we caught some on a rod and reel too so i just want to show you guys uh the easiest way that i have found to do this and my dad taught me this when i was a little kid i've probably been skinning fish since i was six or seven years old i'm not an expert not saying this is the only way to do it but this is the best way that uh i have found to do it for me all right so you start have your this is your catfish's dorsal fin right here have that facing you and sometimes it can be a pain because of this fin right here i can't remember what it's called uh, sometimes you could take uh, like wire cutters or snippers or cutters or some of some kind and you can cut that and it'll lay over sometimes you can just push it and it'll lay over like that anyway there's a bone right here <clears throat> sticks out and you can feel that bone and there's another bone right there so you cut in behind those bones careful not to cut yourself I always hold it hold the catfish by this and it helps hold it steady Angle your knife back that way, slight angle, cut up under those bones, and then come back. See how I've slightly got my knife angled down towards the fish's backbone? Don't poke all the way through. Just go through there, and you'll feel the rib cage in there. And I'm going slow. I could skin these out really fast, but for the sake of this video, I'm going really slow. All right, and when you get to the end of the rib cage, you'll feel it, and your knife will poke through the other side. Now, keep your knife at a slight angle. You'll feel the bones in there. You're going on top of the bones, not under them, because you don't want the bones in your meat. Cut all the way down, and uh, I go ahead and cut all the way through, and I'll show you why here in just a second. But you go down like this, hold, hold, flip the catfish up on its belly, and you'll cut down like this right here, and you'll feel those ribs. Just go right along the top. You see, that's right against the ribs. I got all the meat. All right, there's nothing on that belly. All right, so you do, you cut it right like that. And you got this meat. Now, you got skin on the back, and I'm going to show you what I do with that. All right, so now we've got uh, to this point, like I showed you, we've got the skin on here still. There's absolutely zero bones in this meat. And that is the maximum amount of meat you could have got from this fish. There might be just a little hair right here. That's not much. This is just straight on bone right here. So anyway, I'm going to set this catfish over here in the, back in the cooler just for a second. And uh, just for the sake of the video and get this off for you. But um, All right, I use a fillet board. This is what I clean my bluegills and crappie, which we've got a bunch of those in the cooler over here. But uh, I take this. Uh, that's the reason why I cut this completely off the fish. Because I just take the fillet board. And clamp down the skin right there which makes it a lot easier and now uh, you take your knife you need a sharp knife some people will tell you a dull knife I really don't recommend using a dull knife first there's a little bit of skin from the belly left on there inside the lining I just take go at an angle cut that off nobody wants to eat that take your knife go at an angle right on top of the skin and just kind of you kind of hold the skin with this hand and go at an angle with your knife. There you go. All skin. Take the skin, pitch it in your trash bucket, and what you have is a fillet from a catfish. That's the exact same way that I skin out. I clean bluegill or crappie or anything. And uh, you always want to remember, especially with catfish, things like that, you cut off what you don't want to eat. So if there's a bunch of red meat, which this catfish doesn't have a whole lot of red meat in it, and um, I'll wash this here in a minute. That'll be just as white as can be. And uh, But with catfish, you want to remember, 
usually on the back side there'd be a bunch of red meat this one has a little bit right here and you just take and cut that you can cut that out and uh it'll make your catfish have a lot better flavor so i'm sure any of you who've been eating fish for a long time uh you've had some bad fish that some people have cooked from time to time and it's because they don't cut that out some people call that the mud vein or whatever i don't know the technical name for it it's not really a vein but uh it's just some red meat i cut that red meat out i don't like eating it you still got a big chunk of meat that wasn't a real big catfish anyway so um you got a good fillet off of it all right guys that was just a tip from me uh, i'm no expert cleaning fish but i have been cleaning fish for a long time that's just what i found to be easier for me my dad taught me that a long time ago and um i really really hope that it helps you out no more nailing catfish to trees and pulling out the skinners and the pliers and all that and try to pull their skin off and uh, creating yourself all that extra work because you can actually skin you can actually fillet a catfish just as quickly as you can fillet a bluegill or a crappie or anything like that and you're not going to worry about bones being in your meat there's not going to be any bones because you're not cutting down into the bones and uh, you don't have to worry about your kids or someone you know coming over your house and getting a bone in their throat or something like that but uh, anyway i hope you guys have a really good fishing season hope all your lines are tight this summer